Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening by the time y'all watching this, man. Man, it's the day after election, man, so I'm already, like, distraught. But anyway, we got to move on with life, man. We got to move on and uh, hope for the best. Let's put it that way. Um, Today, we're going to New Jersey. We're going to New Jersey to go visit Sule. Sule is one of the newest members of the Black Soprano family uh, under Benny the Butcher's, um, you know, wing, basically. Uh, he just released Written on Wide's Corner, Volume 2. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, you know I'm a fan of this newcomer, Sule. And I reviewed three of his last albums. Um, so I think I'm pretty caught up. I think this is his fourth album. I could be wrong. Um, but, uh, if y'all know of his collection, let me know. Let me know if I'm missing something. Cause I know I reviewed at least three albums and, uh, well, this is probably the second album at least since he joined the BSF family. So let's talk about it, man. Uh, up and coming rapper that from Jersey and um he's exceptional like yes he's you know in the category of the street talkers you know the drug game you know the gangsters in that sense but at the same time this rap is also you know, spitting, you know, knowledge, you know, wisdom. He's throwing in some gems, you know, he's on his pedestal teaching about uh, his history or just, you know, talking about worldly events. So you got to like really listen and not just be like, oh, he's a gangster. Let me get out of here. I'm not, I'm not with this. Um, the good news is he's creative. Like he can rap like this dude is a rapper like you're looking for a bar smith a wordsmith a person that has a great pen game you hear we're talking Sule. so let's get into a Sule bsf written on wide's corner volume two you know we'll be doing this channel we break it down song by song let's get into it man let's get into it uh like subscribe Share the video, comment below what do you think of this uh, artist. And let me know your favorite project from the artist so far. And your favorite songs and records, man. Uh, this album came out November 5th. Yes, yesterday. <laughs> this came out November 5th, 2024. 23 minutes and 48 seconds. Now, you might be thinking, Marquis, there's other albums that came out prior to this. How come you haven't? Review those. I probably have. They're probably in my books. I got numerous books of, uh, you know, ones I just haven't put on camera yet. And the reason I haven't put on camera yet, I have to feel passionate about the project again. I have to feel some type of energy. It's a mood. Like, it's like when you're in a mood to listen to Stevie Wonder. You're in a mood to listen to Anita Baker. You're in a mood to listen to jazz or country. You know, you have to have that mood. And I'm in the mood to listen to some bars. Some Sule bars, all right? So let's get into it. First joint is called New Jersey State of Mind. Kind of like New York State of Mind. Shout out to Nas. I'm pretty sure Nas is one of his favorite rappers because he talks about Nas at least two or three times on this album or has references towards Nas. Uh, so number one, New Jersey State of Mind. Uh, produced by Nichols and Harlem Zone. Now, Nichols and Harlem Zone, two producers that produce not just almost all this album, like they produce seven out of the eight tracks here. They also produce seven out of the eight tracks on his last one that I reviewed as well. And um, they're outstanding producers. Like, they're great producers. I don't know if it's one, two guys, three guys, four guys. There's women in the producing 
group. Like, I'm not sure who's who. I've never seen a picture of Nichols. never seen a picture of a Harlem Zone. I don't know what they look like. But I know what they sound like. They sound incredible. And, um, you know, based off, you know, written on Wise Corner Part 1 that I've reviewed, fire. And now that they got back together with Sule, think it, think about it. If, it. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, so let's talk about New Jersey State of Mind, produced by Nichols and Harlem Zone. Production is just tough. I right? just talked about it, you know, and Sule came to rap. He came, he's not like, and he's, he even says it. He's like, yo, I came to rap. I'm like, I'm rapping. I can't, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to rap. We're supposed to have bars. We're supposed to be like impressive. We're supposed to have a windable lyrics. We're supposed to be impressive. We're supposed to be shocking with the lyrics. He understands what rap and hip hop is. So shout out to Sule. Now, Sule is somewhat of a new artist, like I said earlier, new to the rap world and an exceptional rookie for BSF. Shout out to Benny for having good and quality ears recruiting these, these rappers. This lyricist is the full package, you know, uh, pause, right? Uh, he's dropping like 30 points every time he says that on the record. Like he is. He's, when I'm listening to him, he's very passionate about the craft of hip hop. And I enjoy and look forward to when it's his turn to rap. Now, I know this is his album. Most of it is, you know, uh, it's like his four solo joints and then he has features. But sometimes, you know, like on part two, like on number two, he doesn't rap first. So, but I'm still like, I'm waiting for him. You know, like double dutch. You know, like, you know, girls who play double dutch and they they wait to jump in. You like, you watching, you know, I used to watch him, you know, I used to be like, yeah, I can't wait to Suzanne or Keisha jumps in. Like, she's the best jumper or something, right? So it's the same thing. It's like, yo, I can't wait to Sule raps. And um, he gives me that feeling. So shout out to uh, rappers that give me that, those those hip hop goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? Like the Styles P's, the Fabulouses, the, you know, the Lloyd Banks, the 38 Specials. Like there's a whole bunch, the Shea Noors. There's a whole bunch of them, you know, but uh, I can go down the line. Let's go to number two. Uh, this is in French. It means three, but it's I believe it's trois. Trois Sopranos, like three Sopranos, and it's featuring Benny the Butcher, of course, and uh, Fuego Bass. I would say Fugo Bass, but I believe it's Fuego Bass, right? Uh, produced by Nichols and Harlem Zone. Now, Benny and BSF are harder than magma. They're harder than magma currently. They're, just hot. They're harder than fish grease, man. They, they, they just, this group of guys, and they, I think they have... No, they have two. No, they have one. Wait, they have two. They have two. Two women, right? They have Keisha Plum, and what's the female rapper's name? I put it in the comments. I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, let's get back to this number two, Twa Sopranos, Benny and uh, Bass. So these are my top three rappers in Black Soprano family right now. And BSF, these are the rappers on my list to be top three in that group, right? These are the real Sopranos. Benny's ear for talent is impressive. And I'm on board like Isaac from the Love Boat. All pen games of all three of these gentlemen are strong on this record. Let's go to number three, Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz from the Giants, you know. Um, this is... The only record that's not produced by Nichols and Harlem Zone, this is produced by Street Runner and Tyreek Azus. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. I see he produces a lot of stuff, but it's A-Z-Z-O-U-Z, -Z -Z Azus. Somebody let me know if I'm how to pronounce that. But Victor Cruz, listen, this is a rap star. A rap star is born. Sule is rewindable like your top. 10 rappers. If you got your top 10 rappers, you always rewind on them, right? You're like, oh, check out what he or she said. Sule is getting in my, he, he might, like, if I, I never did the list yet, but I'm pretty sure he's in my top 10 current, current is the word. He's probably in my top 10 current lyricist uh, right now because he bars up. All right, so let me quotable over these gangster soulful tracks. Uh, he may be BSF's Neo from the Matrix, you know. Number four is called Cuts. 
uh, featuring Flames Dot Malik, again produced by Nichols and Holland Zone. Production and rhymes match like Busta Rhymes and Spliff Star on stage. Y'all know Busta Rhymes, Spliff Star, they just, they match on, <laughs> they always got the matching gear, like I don't know what's going on, but production and rhymes match like Busta Rhymes and Spliff Star on stage, right? All right, Sule is absolutely cut from a different cloth. And um, feature flames, Dot Malik, stamp the brick. And uh, brick on my brick. Uh, shout out to <laughs> West Side Gun. But this is street music. You know, put the kids to bed. It's, it's parental advisory. Like, this is great music. Once they turn at age that you believe they can listen to this, Turn them on to Sule and BSF, man, because it's great music. Now, don't take the music literally. You know, these are rappers that were in the game, were doing things of this nature, and now they're rapping and making money off music. All these rappers from BSF, I'm just going to let you know, they're not in the street anymore. They're touring. They're making money off records, songs. So that's all I got to say. That's one of just give y'all like, you know, a little, <laughs> let y'all know. I don't know if people know it. People be like, oh, I believe everything he says. Like he's talking about now, but the past kind of, you know, this is how rappers do. All right. Number five, my brother's keeper uh, produced by Nichols and Harlem Zone. Um, production is not missing. You know, Nichols and Harlem Zone, they, 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 they doing what they need to do. Hip hop. Goosebumps are relevant, you know, on this track and this album. As Sule puts in major work, you know, his pen work is appreciated. Sule definitely has compassion and empathy for the for his fellow human being and hip hop and rap. Like he, you can tell, he respects the craft, and this is why, uh, you know, I highlight him in videos as such, right? Number six is called Commonwealth featuring Low Pro, produced by Nichols and Harlem Zone. Once again, uh, this street to wax MC is a breath of fresh air. He's a breath of fresh air. Plain and simple. Like, you know how like you, you find a new singer, a new rapper, a new artist, or a new food or something. And you're like, wow, this is good. Or he or she is good, right? It's a breath of fresh air. And that's what this uh, MC is to me. Uh, the music continues to be sinister as the content reflects. Feature low f low pro, uh, stamp the brick as well. So they stamping these bricks, man. Uh, low pro is new to my ears. I never heard of low pro. Like you know, this is the how this is how I think I found Sule. I think Sule was on, you know, maybe a Benny song or he was on a Fuego bass song. He was on someone else's record, and I'm like, who's this guy? And then I went and checked. For his work and then I found his albums and I was like oh snap like like I said a fresh a breath of air like I was like this dude could rap so like when people feature when you feature on a record yo you better put your all and you better put your feet toes hands head everything in, in in that record you better put your all in that record and that's how a lot of people are found a lot of people are you know appreciated or you know saying like just like you know granted you know uh their way in hip-hop because their their features was their features were so dope that now you're like yo this dude's lyrics of just one verse is so dope i'm gonna go check out his whole catalog that's how dope you gotta be i went and checked out his whole catalog and that's why i'm speaking on sule right now that's all i'm saying his feature from someone else and now i'm Speaking on his albums and people featuring on his albums. So, will Low Pro be the next? I'm not sure. Well, you know, who else is featured on here? Uh, Flames. Malik. Like this. So, he's given other artists. I'm not sure if these are his artists or these are future or BSF uh, members as well. I'm not sure who these guys are. But anyway, number seven is I Made You Wealthy featuring Fuego Bass produced by. Nichols and Harlem Zone once again. Um, you know, and this is one of the songs he, of course, he references Nas. He goes, Nas, well, he doesn't say this, but Nas gave us power through a gun, right? In that record, right? 
I gave you power. Nas gave us power through a gun. Now, Sule is giving us power through the dollar, kind of like 50 Cent, the power of the dollar, but like Sule is giving us a breakdown of the dollar. Like he is money. He's rapping like he's money. It's like Nas rapped like he was a gun. Uh, Sule and uh, Fugo Bass is rapping like they're money. Um, great concept. The songs resonates based off the world system. You see what's going on in politics. You see what's going on in the world. If you're really paying attention, um, it's all about the dollar. It's all about the money. No money, no power. No money, no power. No money, no respect. People don't respect you if you don't have money. Even poor people. Poor people be like, oh, so-and-so don't got no money, so he whack. You don't got no money. Like, so we don't, we, you, you whack too? Like, I, like, I don't get it. Like, you have to have, this is what the, this is the world we in. If you're not paid, we, we, we honor the dollar. We praise the dollar. And whoever has the most, we praise them. We're like, Elon Musk, oh, we love you. Like, I'm just tell I'm just saying, man, this is what we're brainstained to believe. The dollar, the money, uh. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to the record. Like I said, the song resonates based off the world system. Um, feature of Fuego Bass, always a plus. One of, like I said, he's one of the best BSF add-ons, just like Sule. One of the dopest rappers currently right now. Sule Fuego Bass. Where's the album? I said it last time. Every time I'm on here, if y'all on the record, I'm like, yo, where's the album? Y'all two need to get together. Maybe with the same producers. Or or, or producers just as great, of course, because they work with other producers. This is BSF. They don't just work with two producers. Um, and just put out an eight-track EP or album or what? Come on, man. I need so I need, like, listen. Both of these dudes is, is so lyrical and rewindable. I can listen to them all day, man. Stop playing. I right. uh, like, subscribe, uh, share the video, comment below. Let me know your favorite song, your favorite lyrics, your favorite record, album from Sule or BSF. Let's get into BSF. Let's talk about who's your favorite member in BSF. Um, you know, and support these artists. And support me, support my books, support my gear, my merch. Support me if you can. I appreciate it. All right, listen, number eight, last track, The Crash Out Story. Now, this is produced by Nichols and Harlem Zone. Now, I don't like to 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 sample, um, to tell tell on samples. Like I I just I'm, this is a question. Like this is what I hear. Like I got good ears. So Tupac and Biggie put out. House of Pain. There's a song called House of Pain. House of Pain. House of Pain. Welcome to the House of Pain. Like it's a it's a it's a dope record from Tupac. And um I don't even know if Biggie was ever on it. I think they just put Biggie's verse on it. I, I can't remember this the whole scenario with that song. But uh Biggie's on it. And I think it's a verse that was already used in another song or something, but it's a Tupac record. It's fly, it's dope. It's one of the dopest songs. In if you want to say collabs or mix songs from a, a producer or DJ that probably put it together, it just—I don't know if they sample. I, I hear the sample. I don't. I hear the sample with this record. I'm not sure. I'm not sample snitching. I'm just saying. I think I hear it. I just like, oh, is that the song? I was like, oh shoot. But anyway, uh, shout out to Nichols and Allums old. But um, the crash out story. Sule is in story mode. He says just like, listen. <laughs> I tried not to swear on this. I think YouTube says, I think and you got to go nine minutes before you swear. Hopefully I went nine minutes on, I'll be sure. And, but I think this, you know, let's just, let's, I'm just going to go with it. All right. So crash out story. Sule's in story mode. Don't trust no biatch. This is this, a don't trust no biatch song, right? It's basically, hey, and this is, this is, we talk, I talk about this all the time. When I was in the streets and I thought I was a gangster and all that corny shit, I thought I was, there was rules. 
to 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 going into certain areas and in, in, in area codes, right? We used to always say this: keep your Tims on and burn her close. That's what we used to always say to each other as brothers in the in the, in the gang. We used to say, keep your Tims on and burn her close while you fucking. That's what we used to say. Don't take nothing off. Like, if you somewhere in an a, 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 a enemy territory or someplace you just went and you don't know where you at really, you don't know if you're getting set up, but you like the girl and you want to get some booty, uh, pull your pants down, turn up back, shot it. Don't get too comfortable. Tim's on. Burn her close. That's all I got to say. That's what this record is, man. Um... Basically, it's, uh, don't underestimate anybody. Don't underestimate women, you know, whoever, any race, right? You know, um, so yeah, Crash Out Story is a great story. Uh, I'm not, not going to tell you the story. I'll let y'all, y'all have to listen to it. But it's, it's, it's pretty much in that format, right? Uh, but shout out to this album, Black Soprano Family, Rock Nation Distribution, uh, Sule. Black Soprano Family, written on Wise Corner, Volume 2. I gotta go check out Volume 1 if y'all late to the party. And then catch up with his other records prior to him and him being on uh, BSF. Because uh, those are dope too. He's just a dope lyricist. And um, I'm championing him, uh, not just on this record, but any other... Every time I think of lyricists and rappers, I think of Sule. You know what I'm saying? I think of him currently. Like, he's he's that dude right now. Um, but, yo. Again, man. This uh, election got me kind of, you know, spaced out. You know, this election got me foggy. You know, I don't, I don't understand America. I guess I do understand it because numbers don't lie. If, you know, I went and looked at the numbers. I really, you know, you got to look at numbers. 75% of America is white. That's all I got to say. I think blacks only make up 13 or 14% of America. And that's all I'm going to say. Numbers don't lie. White people are comfortable with white people. Black people are comfortable with black people. Hispanics are... Hispanics? I don't know, man. Hispanics... Hispanics love white people. Hispanics love white people, no matter what they say. That's all I'm going to say, man. I don't know what's going on. They're just happy to have a job and have an opportunity from a white person. Hispanics, man, I don't know nothing. I don't know what's going on with y'all. I, I, I love y'all and everything, but I really don't know what's going on. This election is insane. You know, this the dude in the red tie can say whatever he wants. But it goes back to... The song number seven, I Made You Wealthy. Not saying the red tie is making people wealthy, because it's not. He's not. But people people hear, oh, money, money. He's rich. He got money. Power. People, people again, praise the money, the power. The dude in the red tie can say whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. He talks about himself more than anything else. He never talks about no issues. America... Y'all got some explaining to do, like Lucy. You got some explaining to do, America. Let me get out of here, man. I get off my soapbox. Shout out to Sule and BSF. Uh, I will. F I'm following the movement. You guys need to follow too. All right, I'm getting out of here. Love over hate. You're gonna need more, more, more. Yeah, we're gonna need so much love. Listen, get the books, get the t-shirts, get the hoodies. I'm gonna need some money, man. If y'all listen, give me money. So y'all can respect me. Give me money so y'all can praise me. Buy my books. But I got good stuff to, to buy. Books. You can get them at True Vine Publishing or you can get them through me. This one's on audio. And that one's uh, just a book. But I got ebooks too. I got merch. Support me so I can be... Maybe I'll run for president. Buy the books. Buy the merch. I'm running for president next. I, I don't know, man. This is crazy. I'm getting out of there. Love over hate. We're going to need so much love. Man, we're going to need so much love. You gotta need so much love, man. Oh my goodness. We gotta support each other. We gotta support each other. Oh Lord.